Wake up, Tony. Dark energy may not exist. Black is still the dominating component of our universe, which is made up of 75% dark energy. Please believe me. So the dark side is the key component of our universe. Darkness, everybody! Darkness is ready! I made a new friend. Real or imaginary? This work is controversial and still disputed by many scientists. Fine, okay? That's right. Embarrassment of riches. Gold, dark matter. Something that's never been seen before. Dark matter, antimatter, gold. Pure gold. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News present Party Dance Time. And action! It sounds romantic, but this is hard science. I turn it upside down. It's a pretty picture and all, man, but what? This is a dark matter matter. Hello, science. I'm not doubting you, science. I'm probably just too stupid. And well, it does seem like human beings have been in the dark age of the soul for a while. But whatever. We're at the Daily Galaxy. Dark energy thought to make up 68% of the universe may not exist. Dash dash. Royal Astronomical Society. All right, I don't want to hurt your feelings, science people, but when I read this article, it made me laugh. That is freaking hilarious. As someone who's kind of laughed at dark energy and dark matter and the trillions of dollars science spends trying to find proof of these things, let me just say, like the true skeptic would say, hey dude, does dark energy exist? Does dark matter exist? Does gravity exist? Do atoms exist? I don't know. But it seems like dark energy and dark matter are just there to fill the mathematical holes in our knowledge of gravity. So that sciences get all weird and they're like, well, this has to exist because this exists. And then they say dumb shit like our universe was formed in the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. So science likes to tell us, oh, I can tell you how old the universe is, even though I can't invent an improvement for the petroleum combustion engine, which we've been using for 134 years. Or they can't even replace the Hubble after 25 years. So science can tell you all these amazing things that you can't verify while raking in the cash looking for dark matter, dark energy. I don't want to talk about that. The third component of the dark side is dark energy, and this is perhaps the deepest mystery of all. But if these phenomena can't be seen, how can they be detected? With ever better technology, bigger telescopes, new techniques, new detectors. Let me say this off the bat. From like a Dungeons and Dragons type of definition, dark energy's real, man. It's totes real AFRN. You know what I'm saying? Attack it! Attack it! Come on! Dark energy and dark matter made the big public push around 1999. Soon after, we had 9-11, and then society rapidly went downhill, and we are here now where, like, society's falling apart, almost totally divided and conquered. Everybody's in a weird spiritual war over nationalism, race, religion, sexuality, sports teams, favorite kind of cheese and ice cream. You name it, people will argue about it and hate each other and hope that those people who don't agree with them die. Sweet girl, sweet girl. What happened to my sweet girl? She's gone! We really need to relax. Which is weird, because if we all agreed on everything, we'd be like a hive-minded society. Oh, and we don't want that, do we? Enigmatic dark energy, thought to make up 68% of the universe, may not exist at all. Kind of like black holes. I don't think they're black holes. I just think they're what we have. I just think they're berry centers. People can get mad and say, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about now. What they want. And then later, when they're like, hey, there are no black holes, you can forget to say that, hey, Thor News was a genius ahead of his time. According to a Hungarian-American team, the researchers believe that the standard models of the universe fail to take account of its changing structure. But that once this is done, the need for dark energy disappears. Scientists need dark matter. When real, science doesn't. When real life, the universe does not. Observation of dark matter isn't easy as it doesn't emit light. But scientists know of its presence because of the effect it has on the gravitational pull of the objects around it. Supposedly, we were to look at a dance floor in a dark uh, hall and you have ladies in white and you have all the men 
in black and you don't see the man because it's dark and you see those ladies dancing around something and you don't know what it is because you can't see it. After the Big Bang the universe expanded greatly and the gravity of all the materials slowed down the expansion of the universe. But then five billion years ago, very suddenly, the universe started accelerating again its expansion. And we think that this is caused by this dark energy field. And uh, is the universe expanding? Is it contracting? Is it expanding and contracting kind of like lungs? I don't know, man. Why don't we figure out how to give up war and then everything else will kind of fall into place? Oh no, I'm an idiot for even suggesting the fact that humanity should not be at war with itself and that all wars we are fighting now were started long before you and I were ever born and that all these wars are pretty much being waged for profit and power. Woot! The team published their results in a paper in a monthly notice of Royal Astronomical Society. And they only allow kings and queens in that Royal Astronomical Society. No fools or jesters, bitches. Our universe was formed in the Big Bang 13. 0.8 billion years ago. And scientists know this for a fact because they stuck the Hubble's dick in the Big Bang. Because NASA telescopes like the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope can look back in time. No, seriously, they say stuff like that. Oh, I can feel you getting mad. And somehow, I don't mind. We're allowed to disagree, man. And you can think I'm a jackass fool, idiot, mon monkey poop, dolphin turd, bug defecation, road baby, all you want. And I'll keep on dancing, dancing, d d d dancing. A key piece of evidence for this expansion is Hubble's law, based on observations of galaxies, which states that on average the speed with which a galaxy moves away from us is proportional to its distance. Oh yeah, gravitational lensing. That shit may not exist either. You see, astronomers measure this velocity of recession by looking at lines in the spectrum of a galaxy which shift more towards red the faster the galaxy is moving away. From the 1920s, mapping the velocities of the galaxies led scientists to conclude that the whole universe is expanding and that it began life as a vanishingly small point. That's another thing that like, when we talk about evidence, you know, and sometimes I'm just like, you people are also crazy and brainwashed sometimes, you know, like uh, the fact that in the Big Bang, everything came from nothing. That's just weird. And it's like, what evidence do you have? What evidence do you have that the universe is 13.8 billion years old? What evidence do you have that everything came from nothing? I mean, is this evidence you could present in a court? Like, if I was to say, hey, fire will burn you. And you'd be like, no, it will not. I'll set your sleep on fire. You'd be like, how do you feel now? Like, if they're like, hey, the universe is 13.8 billion years old, I'll be like, what evidence do you have? I don't believe you. What evidence can they show me? If they're going to say the universe was created from nothing, what evidence can you show me? You know, you can go ahead and tell me all this in the comment. And all I'm saying is I'm trying to put the skeptic back in science because high minded science is scary, especially when we know that 98% of all science is funded by corporations or governments who have their own agendas that they're pushing on us. And we know that the highest and richest people and the highest people in government exist in a different class than us. They have bunkers, they have magic plans for economic collapse, for incoming asteroids for like we don't get that we get the short end of the stick like, we don't even get access to all the information that we publicly paid for in science lives behind paywalls for the excuse that oh these scientists need to prove their points before they release it to the public so you don't have any public people coming up with alternative better theories hey i don't even think i'm gonna read much of the article man because i just don't feel like it it's friday i'm just saying you can read the articles you want i'll leave a link somewhere but yeah and if that isn't hilarious enough Simulation suggests 68% of the universe may not exist. <laughs> I'll cover that one next. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, dude, 68% of you may not exist. How do you feel about that? 68% of you may not exist. Matrixy. My brain just melted. It's okay. It's Friday. Sometimes a melted brain can be fun. I ain't driving anyway. All right. Wonderful news. Fun. Science is fun. Science is great. Science can help you masturbate. Your mind in time, dark energy. In a Dungeons and Dragons way, is definitely real. The world has gotten a lot darker. But in like gravity, placebo, placeholder. No, that that make myself clear. Kick freaking ass, people. God bless everyone. Talk to you guys soon. This huge hall in the Max Planck Institute in Germany is at the heart of the Virgo project, an ambitious international scheme. It aims to simulate the formation of the structure in our universe in images using powerful computers. Also, with missions such as Planck that study the residue left over by the Big Bang, scientists hope to further their understanding of the evolution of the universe. It's difficult to imagine something you can't see or an energy you can't feel. 
However, astronomers believe these abstract concepts are the glue that binds our universe together in an invisible dance between the seen and the unseen. Not from some black hole light years across the galaxy. Some of the mystery sources could be clouds of dark matter, something that's never been seen before. Dark matter. Dark matter. Dark matter. Dark matter. Gold. Dark matter. Dark matter.